Hi from Dr. Sam in the city. Happy Valentine's everyone. I hope you all have exciting plans. I know I dressed especially for today. Um, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to all my subscribers for the amazing level of interaction and feedback we've been getting recently. Um, I really enjoy reading your comments and do my very best to get back to as many of you as possible. Um, we're almost at 15,000 subscribers, so please do subscribe if sometimes you watch videos without remembering to subscribe. It would really help us. Today I thought I would talk through what it means to come in to a doctor's office to discuss your skin issues. Um, because I think a lot of people either imagine that it's not for them, it's self-indulgent, um, particularly here in the UK um, where it's sort of considered a bit um, shameful somehow to be so concerned about skin health and your skin looking its best that to trouble a doctor is somehow not the done thing. And I, I certainly set up my practice with a specific intent of addressing that kind of audience. Like, where do I take my low level acne or redness or melasma to? So the first thing we do when someone books in is obviously give them a bit of information about exactly what the process is. And we ask all our new patients to complete a detailed questionnaire so we really understand what their issues are, what their current beauty practices are. And this is something that it amazes me. A lot of people never get asked, what are you currently doing with your skin? Not just in terms of the prescription type of things that they might be using, but just the day-to-day -day way that they approach their skincare routine. Because a lot of people are doing the basics wrongly, or at least not the best way to suit their particular skin concerns. We explore their general medical history because sometimes there's something in the background that's playing into why their skin is behaving the way it is. And we also gather information on what treatments and procedures they might have had before. And then we determine what their expectations are from their visit. And I think it's really important to understand what people's expectations are because they vary so widely. And there are different doctors for different types of expectations. So someone who's coming in to sort their skin out for their wedding, um, and their wedding is 12 months time or six months time, one might have a different approach to someone who's coming in because they've had acne forever and they just want to make sure they're doing the right things to solve it, but it's more of a, a long-term approach. So I think it's always really valuable to understand more about what an individual's expectations are and what their timeline is for getting those expectations delivered. So that's a lot of rhetoric about what happens beforehand, but I think that's so important about ensuring that the right person and the right doctor end up um, together because it's really important to have what I call a doctor-patient alliance when it comes to solving problems. So we're going to be welcoming new patients to our new premises, 25 Hardy Street, at the beginning of um, March next month and we tend to see patients for around 30 minutes um, and myself and Dr Emma practice in exactly the same fashion. So we take our time to listen to what patients are looking to achieve with their skin, perform a detailed examination to ensure that correct diagnoses have been made in the first instance, which is terribly important. People often get labelled with the wrong thing um, and a common complaint is that people feel that they've been diagnosed as having something and actually they've never really been properly looked at. Um, and then once we've agreed what our goals are and what our time frame for achieving those um, goals are, we set about creating a bespoke and tailored skincare plan, usually utilizing powerful prescription skincare to solve problems. Um, and that is, as I say, a very individualized process because everyone's skin needs are different. Um, we give advice on ensuring that cosmetic practices with makeup don't um, antagonize their issues. So again, a personalized list of brands will be recommended um, and indeed which product within those brands will be best suited for their skincare type and uh, for their skin needs. And then finally, we look at their 
holistic picture in terms of their nutritional status and determine if there's any particular supplements that will be helpful and any lifestyle and dietary shifts that they need to consider. Um, and then we plan a follow-up visit because the reality is that almost every single skincare issue requires an ongoing approach. Um, a bit like when you find someone who takes great care of your hair, the same thing is true of skin. That once you form that relationship, the best way to maintain those results is to have an ongoing relationship with someone. And again, the frequency of that will be determined by how quickly you respond to treatment um, and what level of input you need for fine tuning because sometimes we need to adjust things. Sometimes we need to escalate treatment over a period of time to get the desired results. And then finally, we plan procedures according to concerns. And that's usually when we move into the more cosmetic arena. So I hope that was insightful to give you an idea of what a visit to a doctor's office for your skin might look like. Um, I'd welcome questions down below. Um, it's really good to demystify what dermatologists do on a day-to-day -day basis. Thank you for watching. Happy Valentine's again. And bye for now.